Breaking down social barriers through dance is Sousa Jefferson of Albert Town. Her love of tango began after being introduced to the Argentine dance form four years ago. We had a couple of teachers in town who decided to set up some lessons and I've always wanted to learn to partner dance. I've never done any partner dancing before. Um, and they said, it's going to be tango. And I said, what's tango? <laughs> so they did a little demonstration and played some music. And went, hmm, OK, let's give that a go and, and been hooked ever since. <laughs> As part of her love of dance, Ms Jefferson has opened up her home to encourage others to enjoy tango. Every Wednesday night there's a practica. Um, I have an outdoor dance floor and an indoor dance floor at my house. It's just a small group of people at the moment. We're always trying to get new people to come along, but unfortunately people are quite afraid of dancing, even though it's one of these things that all over the world, in every single culture, everybody dances, everybody has music, right? Um, but it seems that um, people are a little bit afraid of doing that. The other thing is people think you need to come along as a partner, but most people come along not in partners, they come alone and we all mix up dancing together. You don't just come along and dance with your partner. So there's a misconception there. Um, some people don't understand what tango is. You say tango and they think flamenco or they might think salsa and they don't actually know what tango is and it's not until they see it they go, oh wow, that's quite something. <laughs> Simon Henderson for The South Today.